Good morning. Gam and Gab's coming to you from Cambridge, Ontario this morning. We're on the road. Uh, I was out on farm a few weeks ago working with a driving a self-propelled mixer. Now I'm at Grand Valley Fortifiers today to find out what goes into a mixer as well. And I've got David Ross, the Chief Marketing Officer of uh, Grand Valley Fortifiers here. And I think, David, why not start at the beginning? Can you tell sure. us a little bit about the development and evolution of Grand Valley Fortifiers? Yeah, definitely, Russell. Well, welcome to our plant. We're excited to have you here today. And uh, by all means, uh, Grand Valley Fortifiers started back in 1960. Uh, just a few kilometers from here on Clyde Road, where my dad set up the first uh, warehouse facility. And then in uh, 1968, we moved to this actual physical location, where the first little mixing plant was built. Uh, and then this plant was actually built in 1984, the one that we're standing in today, uh, with the renovation that happened in 2002, which uh, took our plant to five times the size of what it was in 84. And that took our scales from, a, from two scales in the plant to nine scales and about a hundred ingredient bins that we can draw from uh, into our mixer here. Wow, this is impressive stuff. So what actually happens in this plant or what happens before maybe uh, the action sure. in the plant as well? So this is really where the magic happens, this is where it all comes together. But before, in order for that to happen, uh, a lot of work goes into developing the formulation that goes into our bag, uh, which comes down this line. Uh, so we have a team of uh, dedicated dairy specialists on the road, uh, visiting producers and taking samples of that homegrown feeds. Uh, those samples are then uh, sent to a lab and analyzed. And then our nutrition direct team over at our head office on Savage Drive uh, spend a lot of time reviewing those analysis and then creating a, a ration that is going to provide the best possible production for that producer and the best, uh, greatest quantity of milk output on that farm. Perfect. So what happens once all this mixing has been done here? Uh, once the mixing has been done, the product is bagged or put in a bulk truck and then uh, it's delivered to farm by the t our team of dedicated drivers and uh, delivered to the appropriate spot. Uh, the producer then receives a, a mixing sheet of instructions, takes our product and combines it with their home grown feeds, the corn, the soy, uh, and any byproducts that they might buy in um, and, and mixes that in their TMR mixer. Good stuff. So I guess my final question would be, why did uh, Grand Valley Fortifiers choose to be a founding partner at CDX? Ah, well we saw CDX as a great opportunity to connect with dairy producers and uh, there wasn't a true dairy show uh, to speak of at the time in Ontario. Uh, we are also really familiar with Jordan. I worked with Jordan back in high school and uh, Jordan actually worked uh, for Grand Valley at the time. And I knew he was a visionary guy, and I thought that if he was behind this, uh, then it was definitely something we wanted to be part of. And it's worked? It's worked excellent, yeah. After the first year, there was no doubt in our mind, uh, CDX is somewhere we wanted to be. Well, everybody, come and see David Ross and his team at CDX in April of 2018. Thanks. Thank you, Russell.